how important is it? Because this has been this is was something that was dis- that came out of the Supreme Court decision in 1998, isn't it? That the establishment of the relationship between these two parts, the hereditary chiefs and the elected band council chiefs. How important is it that that now be resolved in order to move forward? Well, as, as elected chiefs, we we got to know where our people sit, stand, eh? Because we represent all the clans. Uh, we don't represent just one clan. We represent everybody, including the hereditary chiefs that uh, reside on our reserves. They get housing from elected chiefs. But you and the others in the band council are elected. The others are chosen as the leaders of, of clans and of the hereditary uh, head chief positions within those clans. And so what responsibilities do they have? In historical times, uh, hereditary chiefs used, used to be all, all the chiefs and, and took care of the land and took care of all the people. But things have changed through the Indian Act and everything else over the years, so a lot of it has to come out that uh, since the Indian Act in 1867, we have been a major part of uh, all of the negotiations, and uh, we've, we've also fought for title and rights. And if you look at some of the court cases, like the Darren case, the Calder case, e- even the Tilcoteen that has been probably the closest one in the, the near future, that, that was all done by elected chiefs also. Do you feel that the the hereditary chiefs who are at the table, do you feel that they are representing the best interests of your people? No, I don't think they're representing the best interests of our people. Also, you got you got to realize too there's 13 seats available. There's only 6. There's 4 vacant right now. There's 6 seats and they only represent 3 clans. They don't represent all the clans. When you say the houses, these are the 13 Wet'suwet'en Nation hereditary houses that are part of those clans, right? Yes. And one of the men who are um, represent those houses has now said that he does support the Coastal Gas Link project. Yes, I I seen that. But if they don't, if you, if you don't feel that they're representing the best interests of your people, what concerns do you have about what's going on right now? Well, my my concern is really the governance. So if, if the people are voting for me who are all wet student and voted for LNG, that, that tells you that they're all in support of it already. So, And that goes with the rest of the, rest of the bands also.